Hello everybody and uh, welcoming you to another interesting video here. This one, as you can see, is a catastrophic failure uh, and it's this one here, I already uh, checked it out, but it's just a uh, burnt MOSFET. But the interesting thing, oh by the way, this is a uh, 3090 by Asus, tough. The problem with these cards, like Gigabyte cards, is that they're using cheap 50 amp MOSFETs on these cards and they love power. These things consume a good amount of power so it's a disservice that you know these manufacturers are make or did do this especially with the Gigabyte cards. The Gigabyte 3090s are notorious for having failed uh, power delivery like busted MOSFETs and what you see here. Like I didn't remove the shunt resistor there. That wasn't me. Um, this was actually just, it exploded and the shunt resistor just went flying. So it's pretty, uh, <laughs> that's funny. So yeah, that's what we're going to be looking at today. We're just going to be repairing this, or trying to repair this uh, 3090. Hopefully, hopefully the short did not make it to the core because I believe that that first MOSFET there, up at the top that I got in white, I believe, I haven't looked at the bore view, I believe that's memory and that's no bueno, okay? So let's go ahead and put you guys on a tripod and see if we can bring this thing back to life. Okay, so let's get started by removing these guys here because um, they're going to obviously be a problem. All right, let's go ahead and get these uh, shunt resistors or whatever's left of them. And this is uh, pretty ridiculous to have to do, especially on the, uh, expensive graphics card like this one here they could at least give you some um, you know some quality mosfets here but nope aces decided you know what they don't need that good quality stuff we're just gonna give them some something to get them through and that's it i don't make the rules i just fix your gpu when it dies or try to at least i can't fix everything there are some things that are beyond the scope of my knowledge so those things I just have to be honest and say no to those jobs alrighty let's clean those pads up real quick and sorry for the noise but that comes with the territory it's a kind of a uh, loud process that little fan on this preheater is quite annoying but you know what it's a necessary evil keep things uh, cool nice and cool in this area here what I am doing right now is I am mixing the uh, lead free solder with leaded solder and the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to clean these pads I'm going to uh, uh, use a wick so it's basically just a copper braid or uh, wires clean these pads correctly get rid of all the uh, the lead free solder and then have just a leaded or leaded pads which are easier to work with and also last longer uh, they're more uh, uh, leaded solder is just easier to work with but also more flexible it's more forgiving than unleaded stuff this unleaded stuff that they're using now it's like uh, if you give a if you give your card a you know slight twist that could be enough to uh, to crack joints and things like that so i'm not a fan of it at all but you just gotta adjust to how it is okay so that's good enough my book now we're going to add leaded solder to these pads so when we put our shunt resistors and our caps here they will they will be they will attach easier they don't need so much heat and you're about to see what i mean here okay i think that ought to do it let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, add our new caps and shunt resistors okay and we're going to kill two birds in one shot we're just going to heat everything up so that uh, we don't have to go back and forth just have everything attach all at once all right let's apply some heat yes my hands do shake a lot i think compared to other okay that's enough heat there one mistake i did make right now is that i did not change my air so we're hitting this at 450 c <laughs> that's okay it'll survive all right so let's look through the microscope or let me look through the microscope and make sure that i did this correctly i didn't miss anything uh yeah 
everything looks attached and I'll put a picture uh, for you guys to see okay so that's good first part of the process is complete let's flip this the other way we need to protect those uh, electrolytic capacitors there from all this heat that we're about to blast onto this chip here yeah you guys are still with me that's good but uh, to remove that chip we're gonna need a lot of heat so let's do that first we need some flux and I'm really hoping that that short did not make it to the core because that would be sad that would be a sad day for me um, one thing I do not like is wasting time on repairs there but it comes with the uh, territory so can't complain just how it is and these are not the best uh, MOSFETs I can tell you that right now and it looks like this mo this one here might be welded to the PCB which is bad news for me I mean they are fixable still but you typically don't want that yeah this thing still doesn't want to come out yeah it is welded to the bore so we're gonna do my little trick here where we twist there we go okay <laughs> and that made a mess of everything there so let's go ahead and put everything back where it belongs uh, yeah it happens so don't be surprised all right I'm gonna leave it like that and there is a, there is part of the pad there that is missing I'll put a picture so you guys can see that um, but that is okay because that area uh, it's it's still connected by the yeah it's still connected to the board so that won't be an issue all right let's go ahead and uh, put a new face on there and these are uh, let's see C654. Uh, All right, now let's blast it with 1000 degrees Celsius. No, nope, don't do that. If you do, you will regret it. Uh, that is too high of a temperature, so yeah. And I did notice that I did burn this here. This is my fault because I was blasting this with 450 degrees Celsius, which did not need to be. I'm going to move this guy out of the way. He's not liking what I'm doing. Okay, I think we're going to stop there. Let that cool off a little bit. I feel like I'm almost like, a, like I'm in a surgery room doing surgery with this stuff. And that ought to do it right there. All right, let's go ahead and uh, clean up this MOSFET here. While we're at it, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, lay that area there. Put some lettuce solder on there. That's good there. Okay, our face is in, in place. Let's put our little cap back on here. And we're going to use hot air for this. Don't want to waste too much time trying to fiddle with this and not get it right. Okay. And I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and remove this shield. And this is not, it's not bad, like, you know, terrible, but if you're doing this for a living and if you're a serious technician, uh, you, you know, this should not happen, okay? So I take full blame for this. This is a, an oversight on my part. Um, you should always cover this up if you are, you know, this close to these uh, a pin connectors. So, shame on me. Uh, but they, it won't make any difference. It doesn't change anything, like the power connector or anything like that. It just doesn't look good. You know, it doesn't look professional. So, that's what I'm trying to say. And okay, so uh, after you do something major like this, before you even start to clean up the stuff. It is a good practice to check for shorts. Make sure that nothing is going to jump out at you when you plug this in. And we don't want to find out the hard way, of course. Okay. 
Okay. Same here, same here, same here. Okay, so. That looks good. That looks good. PEX. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Well, let me take a look at PEX here again. Mm, PEX is a little low, but um, the reason why it is looking low, it's because it, the card is still hot. So um, that's it. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a good cleaning because it needs it really bad. Okay. And that ought to do the job right there for now. Yep, I think that looks a little better. Let's look through the microscope here. Yep, that's a lot better. So now we're just going to have to uh, test it uh, to see if it actually uh, boots. All right, fellas, everything's looking good so far. Taking it through some tests and yeah, the little card is working like it should. It's got a horrible coil whine as you can probably hear it. But that there, I cannot fix.